The Three Spinsters by the Brothers Grimm. There was once a girl who just would not spin. Her poor mother could not persuade her to work the wheel and make thread. At last, the mother lost her patience and screamed, Ah! She so scared the girl. She too screamed, Ah! At that moment, the queen passed by. She swept into the house and asked what the screaming was for. The woman was ashamed to tell her of her daughter's poor spinning ability. So she said, I cannot stop her from spinning. She spins and spins and spins some more. I am poor and cannot furnish her with enough flax. The queen thought, then said, My sons and I like nothing better than the sound of the spinning wheel. Let me take your daughter to the castle. I have plenty of flax. She shall spin to her satisfaction. At the castle, the queen showed the girl three rooms filled with the finest flax. Now spin and spin, and when you have spun a ton, said the queen, you shall marry my eldest son. The girl was thoroughly terrified. She could not have spun the flax even if she lived to be a hundred years old. Oh, why did my poor mother say I could spin? She said, crying herself to sleep. When the queen returned, she saw no spinning had been done and was much surprised. The girl excused herself by saying she had not been able to spin because of her distress since leaving home. The queen accepted this excuse, then said, Tomorrow you must start to spin. While staring out the window instead of spinning, the forlorn girl saw three women passing by. What fine spinners they must be, thought the girl. The first woman had a broad, flat foot. The second had a big under lip that hung down over her chin. And the third had a big, broad thumb. Hey there, called out the girl. The women stopped in front of the window. I am up here spinning. Want to help? The three women smiled, for they indeed loved to spin. The women conferred, then said, We will finish your spinning, but you must call us your cousins and invite us to your wedding. Done, cried the girl. Please spin now. The three spinsters sailed in and started spinning. The first drew out the thread and then moved the treadle that turned the wheel. The second moistened the thread while the third twisted it. Then she rapped on the table and a heap of finely spun flax fell to the floor. The three spinsters spun all day long. Heaps of flax filled three rooms. As the three spinsters took their leave, they said, Do not forget your promise, cousin. When the queen and the prince saw the huge mounds of spun flax, her majesty said, The wedding will commence on the morrow. The girl then said softly, I have one request. My three cousins have shown me such sweetness. I wish to invite them to the wedding. Yes, why, yes, of course, said the queen. On the day of the wedding feast, in sauntered the three spinsters, delighted to be at the affair. Dear cousins, welcome, said the bride with a knowing nod and wink. How is it that my beautiful bride has such strange-looking relations, the prince wondered. Seeking an answer, he went up to the first cousin. How is it that you have such a broad, flat foot, he asked. With treading, answered she, with much treading. Then he asked the second, how is it that you have such a great hanging lip? With licking, answered she, with much licking. Then he asked the third, how is it that you have such a broad thumb? With twisting thread, answered she, with much twisting thread. Ah, cried the prince with delight, you are natural born spinsters. Overjoyed by this discovery, he decreed that from that time forward, his bride should never spin a spinning wheel again.